Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining in. Today's video is jam-packed. It's going to be in two parts. The second half of this video is going to be Powers Lookout and Ned Kelly's Caves where they used to sleep for months on end, him and the Kelly gang, and their watering hole where they used to get water from too. Powers Lookout is named after the infamous Harry Powers. Now Harry Powers taught Ned Kelly all he needed to know about being a criminal and living off the land. So Ned Kelly was his apprentice. This first half is going to be the Kelly tree and where the Ned Kelly infamous shootout was. Where Ned Kelly wore his metal armour and had the, the peephole through the eyes and the metal um, armour on the body as well. So Ned Kelly was known for being a famous bank robber and used to live off the land and hide out for months on end. Please enjoy this video and happy hiking. We've arrived at the Cali Tree. It was created as a memory for what happened here in that famous shootout between police and the Cali gang. So let's have a closer up look of this tree. I just want to say if you're new to the channel welcome thank you so much for joining in and this channel is simply to inspire educate get you outdoors from the seat of your couch if you have been joining in over the last couple of weeks as the channel is growing thank you so much for the support and it really means the world Also in this area there was a lot of gold mining and gold prospecting so there are a lot of drop shafts so you've got to be really careful not to go off trail and go looking for them so you can see in the background here there is a lot I'll show some more on the trail but I'll give you a close-up first So we're at the old Cali campsite now. So they would have stayed here as well. They had the Stringy Bark Creek down there that they could have gotten water from. And it's really actually quite peaceful in this area. And you can see for quite a far while up on the horizon, that's at least three, 400 meters on the distance that way. So on the ground here is scattered lots of little rocks. And what you could imagine that there was maybe not a shelter, but maybe a large fireplace built. There could have been something just to shelter themselves from the wind, but nothing with a roof. Um, so I'll give you a close, closer look of the ground here.
So it's probably only a grade two hike. The paths and trails are well formed with dirt and there are some areas where it's nicely concreted and stuff like that. So it's not too strenuous. In total today, we're probably only doing around five kilometers. But on the second part of the video, there will be a lot of climbs, climbing, getting into caves, rock boulders. So that will progress from a three to a four grade hike. So you can actually camp here. There's big campsites like this one here. Plenty of room to put a tent and there's in-ground fire pits and out of the ground fire pits and grills. There's drop toilets here as well. No running water so be sure that you bring your own way of filtering water. Boiling is the original way to do that. And also here beyond this little pavilion is really sort of good size over where you could play some some backyard cricket or kick the footy yeah it's not too bad so we're entering the area where the shootout happened you can see that it's heavily got surveillance here so you've got to remember, Ned Kelly had all that armor on, so heavy. And that's the iconic armor with the eyes cut out and the body armor. And he took on all those police. And this is where he did it. So they've done this place up really well. They've put in all these different signs everywhere. They've put drop toilets in. They've put picnic tables and chairs. All this kind of stuff. Even really well formed paths for walking. So you can bring your family and your kids here. I'll quickly give you a quick zoom over of all these plaques and feel free to pause them, but I'm not gonna hold on them for too long. Oh, massive thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, you're amazing. So be sure to subscribe and make sure you check out all my other videos of iconic destinations in Victoria. They'll all vary on length, duration, and, I, and the places too. So there will be lots of overnight hikes coming up. So once again, all the best and happy hiking.
Towers Lookout and where Ned Kelly used to sleep the night and stay for months on end is only one kilometer away from here. And we're gonna have beautiful views of the King Valley and the Australian Alpine region like Mount Buller and Mount Stirling. Just go back 140 years and imagine Ned Kelly and Harry Powers riding on their horses with the police on their tails going through this grassy slopes where their horses could have grazed. So I'm standing in the actual spot where Ned Kelly and his brothers, the Kelly gang, and Harry Powers used to camp for the night. Now it's a big flat rock bed. It's about 15 to 20 meters wide and long. You can see it in the distance just here. I'll give you some close up looks. Below me is just a nice, another flat rock bed with a fireplace. Now this is the actual spot where Harry Powers ended up being caught and brought to justice. Now, we're walking to one of two sleeping spots for the Ned Kelly gang. Now, one is at Powers Lookout. It's full of caves and it's at the lookout so you get a really good spot to see what's coming for you. And this one is one where you could stay a lot longer. There's the watering hole where Ned Kelly would have drank from. And then there's the cave that he and his gang would have slept in. All right, so Let's keep these little boulder climbs and then we'll almost be there. So I promised you Ned Kelly's cave and where he slept and stayed. Now there's actually two. So one was at Powers Lookout and that was quite small. That was if you really wanted to hide. But a place that you could set up for a while and I could see why he chose this spot. There's a beautiful flat bedrock on the outside here where you could set up a fire and there's actually a fireplace there. And then the cave it goes back really quite deep. So what we'll do is we'll go and have a, show you a bit closer. And there's also the watering hole at the bottom of this cliff edge. Down the bottom of this cliff. So it's a little bit of a climb up here, but it's truly worth it. Let's go have a look at Ned Kelly's bed. So now we're in the cave and you can see that would have been a perfect spot to have a fire just there. And then you're sheltered. You've got your own little water supply dripping there and then you're sheltered. And that's where Ned Kelly would have slept all up in here. What we'll do is we'll go a little bit deeper in because it looks like there's a little ledge up in there. And we'll have a look. Right, so we're just crawling. Yeah, it definitely looks like this has been man built in here. There's like a little fireplace and everything. All right, let's get in a little bit closer. So you can see that's where the fireplace would have been set up. And up the top in there, it's the perfect place to hide. 
and the sound of running water really makes it quite tranquil. But you ask where the smoke would have went? Well, there's another hole just up there that's quite large that the smoke could have just filtered its way out of. And also in here, there's spots to store all your stuff. So there's little big pockets there. And this is what it looks like sitting inside the cave looking out. And then there's another little pocket just there where you can store your goods. Or people like the Cali gang. So one member could have slept comfortably right there. Now it may look small on the screen, but I tell you, there's enough room here for men to sleep quite comfortably. So I'm actually sitting upright in this cave and I'm actually be able to squat. I could try and stand, but it's just a small bend of the hips, slightly bent over. But I can walk out of here like so. Oh, amazing. What a great spot. And I'll show you the views as well from what they could actually see from this hiding spot. come across Ned Kelly's watering hole or the Kelly gang Harry Powell's watering hole so it seems to be dropping from this huge massive cliff face Now when you first do arrive here at the Powers Lookout, there are drop toilet facilities, both male and female, separate, and there are signage with information. And the car park itself could probably fit about 50 cars. There are also picnic tables, and there are also little fire pits in the ground if you wanted to cook up a fire, but there is strictly no camping allowed at this site. We're in between this massive chasm. It's probably about 40 meters deep, either side of these big, huge cliff rock faces. And the lookout is just to climb up that hill, up that, those rocks. But I want to take you back 140 years, and you can imagine Ned Kelly and his gang and Harry Powers hiding out in all these little caves. So that's why they chose this spot, because you could hide in these big rock cliffs and not be found. And being on the top of a lookout, 
there's another one just up there. You could see people coming from miles. So you'd have an opportunity to get away. Really quite smart. I'll give you a close-up look of some of these caves and the rock faces. So it's probably about five metres by about one and a half metres wide and long. So there's enough room to get all your gear and a, and a swag or something stuck in there and even cook up because it's well ventilated because that's not only the entry and the exit, but there's also another entry and exit just around this side of the wall too. And you can see the big, big drop off. So it would have been very hard for any police officer to find him. Ned Kelly's cave. Looks absolutely stunning. So this is all the King Valley. And as I said, this is where they hid out. So looking over this King Valley right now, you can actually see everything. I can see Whitfield down there. I can see really quite far, even into the distance, where Mount Buller is. And I'm unsure of the other peak. Could be Mount Hotham, but I won't be quoted. It could be Mount Sterling. But... Definitely a great spot to hide out, especially with all those little caves that you saw earlier. Oh, thank you so much for joining us on another hiking adventure. Next week, we're going to go on another place just as iconic as this one but um all our hikes will really vary in length duration there'll be some overnight hikes there'll be some outdoor education stuff on there on survival so thank you so much for watching if you got this far you're awesome and um yeah happy hiking mm -hmm.